Hello everyone, welcome back to the legend. Uh, we're back here with Black Ops 4 multiplayer beta. Yes, a lot of things have changed. Um, I'm level 15 now. Uh, I'm like level uh, like eight so hours in. I know that's probably not a lot to some of the people out there, the people who like straight no life this shit. <laughs> you know, I'm not those guys, but um, it has been enough to uh, get quite the roller coaster experience of this beta. It's been a roller coaster, okay? Because holy shit, I have gone from like liking this game initially, uh, like like oh, so much potential. I, I I'm having a good feeling about this game to absolutely hating this game's goddamn guts <laughs> because of the health uh i still think the health is kind of dumb i don't like the 150 health i'd rather it be 125 at most uh if not 100 because i really feel like it uh causes some really weird gunfights to happen uh you're gonna see in a little bit later in this video uh a little bit later after this, probably like the three or four minute mark. There's some really, really weird gunfights and uh, shootouts that I should not have lost. Uh, okay, you're going to see it, okay? But it's not yet. Oh, call the flank. <laughs> call the duty flank. Oh my god. I thought World War II was the only offender, but oh my goodness. Uh, sometimes you really got to worry about the flank sometimes in the game. Oh. Treyarch, 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 come on, <laughs> uh, I was like, really guys, you have not played a Call of Duty beta, if this hasn't happened to you at least once, okay, but thankfully this only happened once to me, this, uh, this has never happened again, I never had a connection interrupted again, uh, but yeah, uh, the thing is that, uh, but it, ca it went from hating this game's goddamn guts, to uh really 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 liking it and it's because of one single gear which i'm going to talk about later in the video when i start showing the gameplay of it but one single gear turned this game around for me and saved and saved it okay and it's a lot of people will call it utter nonsense op and op as all fuck which i don't really uh disagree completely with them but at the same time it is the reason why i'm actually having a ton of fun in this game all of a sudden now and actually getting kills actually dominating a few matches um and i love it uh okay <laughs> hi man people can flank so fast in this game uh but so yeah so there's some there's some issues in the game uh oh yes cluster grenade time oh yeah I love the cluster grenade, it's nice. Uh, there's a lot of, the specialists in this game are really good. Um, because, I mean, the, they're the Black Ops 3 specialists, you know, they haven't really changed. But, but uh, the, the equipment, some, a couple of the equipment are kind of poopy, but the equipment are really nice. I love them so much. But here we are, here we are about to go into some bullshit here. So, I go down and I get flashbanged here. Watch what happened, what, watch this. Alright, I get flashbanged. Some guy to my left, and uh, I'm gonna get. Oh, what? What? Huh? I shot him way before he started shooting me, and, and it's so weird sometimes, man. I was shooting him like, watch. This is how it should be. Okay. Boom. I I saw him first. I started shooting first, and then he died first. Okay. And then you see this. Okay. The, the, this is about to come up here. Watch this. Uh. Okay. Okay, uh, it's it's really weird sometimes, especially that first one that I showed you. I shot him way before he shot me, and for some reason, like, he can just aim at me and then melt me instantly when it's taking me, like, 10,000 years to kill him. It's just, it doesn't make much sense sometimes, and I don't know, I, I feel like it's the 150 health kind of doing some weird fuckery with a bunch of the gunfights. Um, just because of how long it can sometimes take to kill, like, if you're hitting their arms and legs, you're barely doing any damage, but when you're hitting the chest, all of a sudden you do a shit ton. You know, and that's the way it should be, but with that 150 health, it can be really, there can be a, a lot of fuckery going on. Um, and, and I think there's some hit detection problems sometimes too. Sometimes on a person's kill cam, I see something that was not, that, that was not the way it was when I did it and uh, watch this I have my war machine here and this guy's able to kill me before I even kill him with the war machine 
And I'm like, I'm taking 10,000 years to kill someone, yet he melts me in an instant. It's weird. But, uh, and then, uh, you know, it's just, it's like, uh, you, you, gotta, you gotta get your attachments on your guns as soon as you fucking can. Um, that's a nice equipment. Um, you gotta make sure you push that square there, otherwise you're sitting there electrified for like 10 billion years. So you gotta make sure you you have that timing on that square, right? Um, that, that's a nice touch, kind of, uh, ner that, that's their way of making that not OP, is to be, is for you to be able to stop it, uh, if you time it, if you, if you get the square in time, but, um, I like that. And then here, it, well, he just melts me instantly, even though I shot him first. I was shooting at him first, and then he just, whoop, melts me instantly. I'm like, what kind of shit... I don't know if it's just because he's using an OP gun or maybe he has attachments on it that are better than mine. I don't know. And then this here. Oh my... Hold on. He has a pistol. He has a fucking pistol. And I was shooting at him from behind. What the fuck, Treyarch? What was that? That can't... That, that That's not okay. I'm not, like, you, you just heard me raise my voice there, right? Take that and multiply it by... 10 quadrillion okay and that's how much rage and fury i was feeling after that uh, after that happened oh my god i was screaming at my tv um there's some what the fuck moments in this uh some really what the fuck moments but uh, uh lately i've been enjoying it and and really uh soon soon you're gonna see why uh i'm gonna have some footage of the gear that i've been talking about got my uav and, uh, this is your boy, uh, fumbling, trying to figure out how to use the UAV, like an absolute scrub lord. <laughs> Jeez. Um, I think the maps are pretty good. Uh, you gotta get to know them, and you gotta get to know where the traffic comes from. Otherwise, you know, you're just gonna be like a chicken with its head cut off. Uh, oh yes, got that Hellfire missile. Oh, really? One kill? Alright. <sighs> I think that other guy ran into the building. I think that that was the reason why. Um, but oh, it's it, it could be rough without this super OP gear that I'm talking about. <laughs> that we're gonna get into uh, right about. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. So this gear is called the acoustic sensor. Okay, and it is probably the most OP thing in this entire game. Uh, in my opinion, it, it, it has to be. Because it, 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 <laughs> like, it, it, it caught, like, what it did to my, to my games, to my matches, was it, it transitioned me from being, you know, somewhat okay, you know, maybe like half the matches that I played, to like 80% of the matches that I play. I do great in all of a sudden like that's how OP it is like I, all of the problems that I've been talking about here and I'm using this uh, interesting little semi-automatic gun here the semi-automatic guns in this game are, are quite good I like them a lot um, I usually in the other Call of Duties did not like semi-automatics at all but they're pretty powerful in this sometimes they can even beat a uh, SMG but as you can see with the acoustic sensor there I could see that that guy was to my right before he even came around the corner. Ugh, it is the dirtiest thing I've ever seen in a Call of Duty game. Oh, watch me. Oh, she's circling around these guys. I know there's a guy to the left and get wrecked. There we go. Ah, oh, it's 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 so dirty. It's so dirty. That guy just hippity hopped right out of my line of sight. I hate the hippity hoppers. The freaking floor is lava challenge people from Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare. <laughs> oh, the hippity, the, the Bugs Bunny bitches. See, I was just waiting for that guy because I, I could, it, it has quite a lot of range and if they're going to nerf it at all, I would think uh, that they should just decrease the range of it a bit. I think that would be a pretty decent nerf on it. I don't want them to take it completely away. And I don't, <laughs> I don't want them to nerf it so bad that it's like you can't even see like five feet in front of you either. Uh, I just, I really, oh, watch this. Oh, ho, ho, damn. Oh, I got that guy with the mesh mine like on the spot. Like, just put it down and he, right before he turned the corner. 
Oh man, I, I love that when I saw that, but... And then you see, you see in the red lot, red dot there, guys over there, turn the corner, knew that someone's going to be there. It's, it's powerful, okay? It, it's a game changer. And I hope they don't take it away, because it's, it's a lot of fun to use, and it really is saved, saved this beta for me. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Um, UAV, and I, and I got a care package. So uh, let's see this uh, care package here, uh, Treyarch. Um, uh, um, Treyarch, tr tr uh, tr uh, um, Treyarch. Uh, why can't I put it down? <laughs> I finally, could put it down. They need to fix that. Okay, a, a lot, and, and then these bitches kill me before I'm even able to get it. See, if I would, if I would have put it down, then maybe, just maybe, I would have had enough time, Treyarch, to get it. Ugh. I, uh, God damn it, Treyarch. God damn it. They need to fix that. A lot of people have been uh, seeing that uh, care package glitches. Uh, the care package just doesn't want to go anywhere. The care package just seems to just not want to be placed anywhere at all, even out in the open. They need to fix that. But uh, that acoustic sensor... <sighs> wow, that's dirty. Look at my teammates there. Look how much I carried that match. Sometimes that happens too. It happened a lot in Black Ops 3 also. You get really, really bad teammates sometimes. But uh, this beta really started off with a lot of sweaties, with a lot of fury and frustration and anger. But uh, right now I'm having a whole lot of fun. It's all because of that acoustic sensor. I, I sometimes call it acoustic senpai. All right, just be, because it's my sugar daddy, okay? It's my sugar daddy in these matches. I, I love it so much. And I hope that uh, it doesn't not get taken away. And I hope that it, it they, they have, a, have a little mercy, okay, on the nerfing of it. Because it's probably going to get nerfed. I hope it just decreases the range a couple feet or something, like five feet. That would be good. But that's the end of this. That's my overall uh, opinion of this beta so far. Uh, it's I'm liking it so far, and um, it's pretty good. I like it. So uh, I would definitely suggest uh, getting this game because it's going to be a good one. I think we have a good one here. I think Treyarch made uh, a, a very nice, mwah, very, very nice game here. So uh, like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want to see more content on my channel. And, uh, and as always, hope you guys all have a freaking day. And I'll see you in the next video. Black Ops 4. Yes. I think we have a good one here. It's going to be a good It's gonna be a good Call of Duty year. Oh, with the zombies and, and the blackout mode. Oh, I really hope those are good too. And I know the zombies are going to be good. But blackout, please be good. Because if that's the case, we're going to have pr may maybe just the best freaking Call of Duty game we've had in a really long time. So I can't wait. It's very exciting. Uh, in the meantime, see ya guys. Bye.